Hi there. I'm so excited because I'm here at London Zoo and I'm about to visit the flamingos. I'm here with Vicky who looks after the flamingos. Hi Vicky. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Vicky. I work on the tropical bird department here at ZSL London Zoo and I work with the flamingos. And Vicky, where are we? We're here at the zoo. We've, we're at Free Island Pond, which is where the flamingos are. They're currently standing right in the middle of the pond, uh, on the shallowest part, actually. There's a sort of mud flat in the middle. Um, they are all pretty much standing still and on one leg. Um, there are 19 greater flamingos in this pond currently, and one pelican. So, Vicky, the Children at Hermitage Primary School had some awesome questions that they wanted to ask you. My name is Ayad. Why is the flamingo standing with one leg? Hi Ayad, the flamingos stand on one leg. Um, for No one entirely knows, but um, they usually do it to conserve energy. If they stand on one leg, they can keep one leg warm and the other one stays a bit cool and then they can switch over and keep the other one warm. Wow, it must be so hard to balance on one leg all the time. Hello, my name's Adam. Why the flamingo has long legs? Hi Adam, that's a good question. Um, flamingos have long legs so that they can wade into the deepest waters. Sometimes there's no food in the shallow waters so they need to move further in so they can get to better food. My name is Abed. How did flamingo walk slow to the water? Hi Abed, that's a good question. So flamingos have the really long legs and it's quite difficult to walk through water. So they have to walk slowly because if you've ever tried to swim or walk through water, it's quite difficult. So they have to walk slowly um, and they walk in a very delicate manner with, they've got webbed feet. So they sort of, they walk very similar to us actually. It's a sort of downward motion, but they have these long thin legs. So they have to walk sort of glide through the water, one foot in front of the other. And they generally all walk together as well. My name is Yusuf. I don't know what um, flamingos can um, swim in um, underwater. Hi, flamingos can't swim underwater, but they put their head underwater to feed, which means that they can't breathe underwater like we can't either. So what they do is they have to hold their breath for a few minutes whilst they're feeding, which is quite difficult to do. Can you imagine holding your breath every time you wanted to eat? My name is Ahil. Do they, does flamingos fly or they do not fly? Hi Ahil, that's a really good question. Flamingos can fly and they can fly really far. They can fly hundreds of miles um, to the nearest water source or to where they need to go to get their next feed. Hundreds of miles? That's a lot of miles. Hello, my name is Mawa. How do flamingos fly? Hi, so flamingos fly. They'll go on to a, a much shallower bit of land or water. Um, and they do like a run up, like a plane does to take off. So they feet sort of together and they, yeah, just run along. Because they're so big and graceful, they just sort of take off exactly like a plane and then they start with the really slow flaps going from what we would call the shoulder out to the wingtip and then go up and down really gracefully. Hello, my name is Inara. Why does, why does flamingos have long necks? Hi, Inara. Flamingos have long necks because... They feed upside down, so they need to be able to get their neck and head under the water and then feed. My name is Arian and why does um, flamingos have long, really long beaks? Flamingos have long beaks. Actually, there are six species of flamingos and they all have slightly different beaks. The way they feed is with their head upside down in the water and they need to have this long beak so they can get all the different foods that they're going to eat because there's so many different types of food. I wonder how many types of food they fit into their beaks. Hello, I'm Raffi. What do they eat? Hi Raffi. Flamingos eat lots of little things. They do something called filter feeding. So they take in whatever is around their beak when their beak is upside down 
Um, they will take in everything. So it could be seeds, shrimp, algae, any of those things. And they, they will get rid of the water as they go. Flamingos generally live on salt water, so they have to get rid of the salt. And they do that by moving their head from side to side, which enables them to pick up all the foods. And it also um, means that they can extract the salt as well. The flamingos move their heads sideways in a sort of very slow leading with the head figure eight movement. And they go backwards and forwards, but really slowly. My name is Rayan, and why do flamingos have pink feathers? The flamingos have pink feathers because of the food they eat contain something called carotenoids, which is what makes carrots orange and tomatoes turn red. And it's found in the algae that they eat and also the shrimp that they eat as well. Ah, carotenoids. Like carrots. <laughs> Hello, my name is Safa. How do mangoes colour change? Hiya. Um, their colours change. So they start, actually, flamingos as babies start white. And it's not until they start eating the food that they get pink. Some flamingos are pinker than others, depending where they come from in the world and their species. They will lose their colour and gain colour depending on how much of their food that they eat. So if a mummy is feeding her youngster, the youngster will start getting pinker and she'll get whiter again because she's feeding most of her food out. I am Fiona. Where do they go to bed? Hi, Fiona. Flamingos are actually quite interesting in that they don't have a bed. They sleep wherever they are, but they always sleep together, pretty much, as a flamboyance of flamingos, which is a group of flamingos. Um, they all are in a very similar area, generally as far into the water as they can get, so they're not likely to be picked off. But they can do it on land as well. If there's lots of crocodiles or something around, they may go on land instead to keep out the way. Hello, my name is Elena. How do flamingos go to sleep? Hi. Flamingos go to sleep by standing on one leg, because it saves energy, then putting their head all the way back with their really long neck, and they put it right on top of their back, over the top of their wings, and tuck their head in. Keeps them warm, and it's a nice place to rest your head. Wow. That is so cool. A flamingo's balance is really good. I wonder if I would be able to balance as well as a flamingo. Should we try balancing together? I'm going to choose a specific spot in my space to balance. Hmm, maybe I'll go to the middle of the space I'm in. Just like how the flamingos wade out into water away from the shore to get the best food. Where would you like to balance? Make sure you have lots of space. I'm slowly extending one foot long and out in front of me and gently placing it down. I can feel my toes spreading wide as I place down. It feels like my toes are webbed like flamingo feet. Feel secure. I'm going to try with my other foot. Extending long and placing down in front of my first foot. Webbed toes spreading wide. I'm moving as slowly and carefully as I can. Each move feels super delicate. How are you moving to your balancing spot? Are you using a different body part? Maybe your arms and hands. Remember. It's okay to move like I do. Extend and place down. Extend and place down. I feel very graceful as I move. It's almost like I'm gliding through water, steady and smooth, with my movement not too fast, not too slow, just right. Extend and place down. Ah, I've reached my balancing spot. Checking around me, I'm not too close to any furniture or other flamingos. Plenty of space to test my balance. Have you found your balancing spot? Do you have enough space to test your balance? Right, I'm going to balance on one leg. You can too if you want. Or you can try balancing on another body part. Maybe on your bottom. It's up to you. I've got one leg super straight 
and I'm bending my other knee in the shape of a triangle. Slowly, and placing my foot on the inside of my straight balancing leg. And balance. Oh, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, I feel like I'm going to fall. Uh, putting my foot down. Ah, uh, much better. It's good to know that if I'm going to fall, I can just put my foot down. I bet even flamingos lose their balance sometimes. Let's try again. Maybe on the other leg. Bending my knee like a triangle. Placing my foot on the inside of my balancing leg. Uh, uh, and putting my foot down. <sighs> How are your balances going? Sometimes our arms help us balance if we stretch them out to the side. I'm extending my arms wide, a bit like flamingo wings. Let's try one more balance. Bending my knee, placing my foot against my balancing leg, and I'm balancing. Cool. I feel so elegant. I get why flamingos like to stand like this. I feel like I could stay like this forever. Uh-oh, I'm kind of hungry. Well, we did move out into deeper waters where there should be some food. Should we search for food together? I'm putting my foot down for now. We can always come back to balancing later. I'm extending my head and neck really long out in front of me. I'm reaching my torso forward a bit too. I want to be able to search as much water as possible to find food. What body part are you searching for food with? Maybe with your hands or your feet? I'm swaying my long flamingo neck to the right and left. Back and forth. I'm even trying to search behind me, turning on the spot. Found some shrimp. Oh, and a little algae too. I'm reaching my head all the way towards the ground. Oops, better put my hands down to help me balance. Just in case. I'm opening my mouth and taking a big bite of water, shrimp and algae. Did you get a good bite? Coming back up. I've got so much water, shrimp and algae in my beak, but it's too salty. Ugh, I've got to get rid of this salt somehow, without losing my lunch. I'm swaying my head side to side in large, stretchy curves, letting the salt fall out. This way, and that way, and this way, and that way. It's like I'm drawing a number eight with my nose until all the salt is gone. Ah, much better. Head up to the sky and swallow. Oh, that was delicious. And what a graceful way to eat. Feels like I'm dancing with long limbs and a long neck, searching for far around with my long flamingo neck, reaching down, 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 big bite, coming up, drawing an eight with my nose, head up, and swallow. I'm sure there are other places to find food as well. Should we glide together to find new feeding spots? You can glide wherever you like. Maybe even try balancing before feeding. Gliding. Balancing. And feeding. There's so much algae and shrimp and so many places to feed. I'm dancing all over the place. How about you? <sighs> that 
was so much fun. Flamingos are so graceful, even when they're eating, and especially when they're balancing. But I'm feeling a bit full after all that algae and shrimp, and a bit wet to be honest. Should we head back to the shore? Just like flamingos going to rest, coming out of the water and onto dry land. <sighs> I'm going to sit on the ground. You can too if you like, or you can sit in a chair, or lie on the ground, whichever feels most comfy. I'm tucking my legs underneath my bottom and sitting on my feet, just like a flamingo sitting on the shoreline. Ah, <sighs> now, time to get dry. I'm gently shaking my head from side to side, shaking the water off. Shaking my shoulders, shaking my arms. To shake my legs and feet, I'm placing my hands down on the ground in front of me and stretching one leg out behind me and shake. <sighs> Tucking that leg in and stretching the other one out and shake. Tucking that leg in and sitting back on my feet. Ah, much better. Oh, I've got bright pink feathers all over me. Must have been the carotenoids in the shrimp and algae. Have you got pink feathers too? Oh dear. Well, now I think about it, I actually feel pretty amazing with all these pink feathers. How are you feeling? Let's give one last full body shake to feel and show off our feathers. Ready? And shaking! Nice. Thanks for balancing with me as a flamingo. Thanks to Vicky at London Zoo and thanks to all the brilliant children at Hermitage Primary School. Keep balancing. Bye! Bye. To enjoy more from Audio Moves, there are lots more episodes wherever you're listening now. Please subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Leave a review, share with your friends, tell everyone. Okay, thanks, bye!